When you see them on the horizon, they do look small. But whenever you finally get up there, you're looking straight up in the air, just straight up at the sky, and it's just incredible. You're face to face with this machine. It's 300 feet tall, and your goal is to get to the top of the turbine. And so you make your climb, you get through, you open the hatch, you step out on top, and you've got that wind, and you can feel it. Nothing blocks your view. You just feel you're like you're on top of the world. You know, looking at these wind turbines, I, I see them out there, they're spinning 24-7, and that's work. That's a paycheck every day, every year. The wind never stops blowing, it's always blowing. Sweetwater had been known for cotton, cows, oil, and gas. It used to be really flat here, and now it's really flat with a lot of turbines. So wind power came to Sweetwater, Texas back in 2001. Sweetwater is a really conservative area in the very conservative state of Texas. Governor Rick Perry was at the helm, and yet energy independence was in the air and making money was in the air. If you go back to 1999, which what we call pre-wind, the whole county uh, taxable evaluation in Nolan County was about $500 million. Well, by 2008, we were up to $2.8 billion of evaluation. So it really made a big impact on the income side of our county and our hospital districts and so on. It's changed Sweetwater dramatically from whenever I was a kid. Our schools have been remodeled and Skyline has changed, just the businesses in Sweetwater have changed. Uh, we didn't have a Walmart until wind was here. If Texas were actually its own country, it would be the sixth largest energy wind producer in the world. This has been an area that's been tr traditionally ranching and agricultural and oil and gas lands. All of those uh, have an element of boom and bust to them. I only worked in the uh, oil industry a year before I got laid off and I'm talking to guys who've been laid off two or three times. This happens every four to five years. This is, I didn't want that. So 2008 is when the wind energy and wind turbine technician program started here at Texas State Technical College. James Beal is one of the senior instructors who's been here for four or five years now. His dad worked in oil and gas. The day that I turned 18, he sat me down and made me promise him that I wouldn't go into the oil field because he didn't want to see me get hurt. Let's be sure everybody does a buddy check. Uh, I ended up going into the electrical field. My kid's mother at the time uh, was making more money as a waitress at the local steakhouse with all the wind technicians coming in and spending their money than I did as an electrician. So I got online, looked for schools that taught wind energy, and just so happened here in Sweetwater, TSDC had a wind program. I see the wind industry going forward. It's creating a major impact, I believe. Coal, oil, and gas have always been top dogs. And now they got somebody giving them a run for their money, and uh, they're doing it cleanly. I'm hearing so many people talking about the pride that they have about producing energy without polluting the environment. There's all sorts of varying opinions about climate change specifically, but there's no question that wind energy and creating clean, renewable energy here has been benefit to this community. I don't think that fossil fuels are the main reason of climate change in the area, but I do think that with renewable energy, we can work together towards the same goal of trying to help the earth by less pollution in the atmosphere. I don't see why we need to be dependent on anybody else for our energy needs. I think we could bring us stability to our energy markets, which in the future would employ lots of people. People are not against oil and gas here in Sweetwater. They are open um, very much to the all of the above strategy. Whatever works, whatever will get them a job, and whatever job will be stable. And that stability seems to be the key thing that wind has over oil and gas. Uh, oil, you know, it's gonna jump up and down, and so are the jobs. Uh, gas is almost the same way, but with wind, you're always gonna have a job. You're always gonna be able to harvest the wind out there.